What's up YouTube? Before we start, make sure you smash the like button for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For all the newcomers, welcome to Team Island. If you haven't yet, be sure to follow Team Island on the IG page. There's a lot of great content on that page and I'm always active so if you have any questions, be sure to DM me. Team Island Episode 7. Remember, we are now adding speed and agility drills at the end of each episode so be sure to stick around for the speed drills at the end. All right now, let's start the video. So what you think about Team Island so far, man? Great work. Yeah? Good content. Good content? Definitely need to subscribe. Definitely subscribe? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. YJ Caution, This episode we're working more lateral movements and coming and adding different breaks coming out of it so right here we did two feet in each hexagon then you want to open up and break back down remember if you don't understand the drill do a simple walkthrough before you really attempt the drill right you want to get this drill as perfect as possible so make sure you understand what you're doing what's the you're trying to accomplish from this drill Similar drill right here, we're gonna open up, we're gonna break down 45 away from the quarterback. Exactly why sometimes you need that walkthrough, right? Look at that mistake I just did. Mm -hmm. That head is glistening. That Baldini's out today, fellas. gonna do the same drill similar but we're gonna break at a 90 right break at a 90 make sure you locate the receiver so right here I didn't locate the receiver so we end up doing it again and as you can see I break peek for the receiver then I look for the ball We added the sideline for this drill so we can practice getting our feet inbounds, right, before the catch. Practice these habits now so it becomes easier in the game, right? You're not even thinking about it, it just automatically happens. So this drill, we're just going to go over the hexagon and back, and we're going to open up and speed turn out of there, right? You want to attack the ball at the highest point. Now we're just gonna do the same similar drill, but now we're gonna pedal out of it. We're gonna open up and then speed turn. And you wanna attack the ball at the highest point. Mm, come on, man. Come on, at this point it's too easy, man. Tell them to send it to me, man. Stop playing with the kid. So 
similar drill as we did the other side. We're gonna do the same here. Work the sideline with it. Make sure you get two feet in bounds. Come on, come on, man. Come on. Remember for this drill, we wanna break upfield and then come back towards the sideline for the ball. Cause the ball is not intended for us, it was intended for the receiver. Here's a great press drill right here. So we want to work laterally and staying square. So we're reading the nearest hip of the receiver. Make sure both your feet are moving, right? And we're shuffling out of there as the receiver declares his release. Remember to stay square if we see the nearest hip. If the nearest hip disappeared, that's when we start to shuffle 45 or kick slide 45. You know we had to get our one-on-one -on -one press releases in. Today was a good day. We both went three for three as a DB. So today we were focusing on being patient and staying square as long as possible and shuffling with the receiver. So right here I'm working a different press technique. It's called a shocker control. So basically you want to shoot your outside hand as a quick jam and bring it back down. Then you see how I bring my inside hand to control the receiver. When you shoot that outside arm, right, that outside hand, you want to stay square. You don't want to turn your hips to shoot that arm. Make sure you're being patient and reacting from the receiver's release. So now we switch your sides. Like I said last week, this is all straight live reps, no capping, right? So I had to make sure the camera's still rolling, so that's why you see me go back and forth. Now into our speed drills. This right here is a drill to work on acceleration. So basically you want to lay flat on your stomach. There's going to be two commands, set and then go. As you go, you want to stay low and gradually build up. work the other leg. Same process, same thinking, same commands. resistant band so this is just a high knee march you really want to focus on getting your arm drives 90 to 90 right cheek to cheek and you want to have that lean and you want to keep your dorsi flex doing our standing broad jumps you want to get the least amount of jumps to 10 yards then on the way back we're going to take the resistance off and we're going to do the same thing
make sure to get a full extension out of your jumps, right? Really explode and get out of there. Also, really focus on sticking to landing. So now we're taking the resistant band off. Remember to have full extension out of your jumps, right? And stick to landing. Don't lose your technique. Remember to use your arms for these jumps. You really want to use your arms to propel you forward so you can get the maximum effort out of your jump. Once again, you're taking the resistance off and you're gonna do the same thing going back. Like I said earlier, really focus on your technique. Don't lose it and stick to landing. If you mess up, reset, go back to where you started at and do it again. So to end the workout, we did a couple 40, uh, 30, 40 yard sprints, but you really want to focus on your technique, on your start right here, right? So getting your proper start stance, like you're about to run a 40, you want to stay low and drive. Get that quick first step and drive out that start all the way and gradually build up. you explode out your start right you want to get that quick and powerful first step staying low and gradually build up but that's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it you guys enjoy your day and take it easy peace